NY Factory. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do something a little bit different. And as you can see we're in a different um, setting. So I wanted to show uh, you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. So right now you're seeing uh, what I use to clean my makeup brushes and all it is is a little antibacterial hand soap a dish detergent that I got from Walmart and then it's also mixed with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and some Johnson & Johnson baby oil so this is what I use to clean my makeup brushes and I just normally put it on a little platter as you can see and yeah that's that's all I basically clean my brushes with on a day to day basis so next thing you're gonna see is me cleaning my brushes and how exactly I clean them so as you can see here's a few of my dirty face brushes so they all been dirty for I've been using them this week and so I'm just going to take my little mixture that I showed you guys and with your water well this is what I do I don't really get my water that hot I just get it like a little a little cool because I think if you get your water too hot, it can it has a potential to mess up your brushes. I know because I've done it before when I first started in makeup. So I let it be a little bit more cooler than hot. So not really warm, but you know, somewhat cool. So all I do is I take my brush, and as you can see, here's the brush, and I get it wet. And try not to go past this burl right here because if it gets up in there it will mess up your brushes I found that out the hard way also when I first started in makeup so yeah a lot of my brushes got ruined because of that so and I'm squeezing I'm just squeezing out the excess water and I'm just gonna take it and dip it into this mixture And I'm using for my brush cleanser, I'm using the Sigma, um, I guess the Sigma cleansing mat. I absolutely love this. So, yeah, I bought this <clears throat> back in February and I absolutely love it. It, it. It's a time saver. So, yeah, all I do is I go on the face side and this over here, this side over here is the face side. And I just start, you know, cleaning until everything is nice and clean. And try not to be too gentle, too uh, harsh on your brushes because these are your brushes and you are spending your hard earned money in these brushes and they can be, you know, tore up. So, yeah. So try to be as gentle as you can. And using this mat, you can really use, uh, clean multiple brushes at one time using this mat, but I just like to take my time and do one at a time so I know my brushes are really clean. And while you're cleaning them, try not to get this water. Try not to get this water in your under your barrel too at the same time. So as you can see, my brush is now nice and clean and back to white. And yeah, there it is. And I'm going to put that to the side and continue cleaning. And when I've done all my brushes, I will come back and show you guys how to place them so you want, so they can dry perfectly.
here are a couple of my um, eye brushes. This mat also has an eye side and it is on this side. The camera is not picking it up because of where it's sitting, but it is on the opposite side of the mat. So I'm just going to show you how I clean those really quick. It's basically the same way as I clean the face brushes. And I'm just doing the same thing over again. If you guys have not seen about getting this mat, um, I've heard that there's a dupe for this. Um, uh, this same mat at Walmart, I'm not sure, but I heard there are dupes out there for this mat. I just got this mat because I was very interested. And I'm, I only own one Sigma product, and that was the Sigma brush. And I was interested in seeing about how the mat did. So, I mean, I, this is one of the best products that I have gotten from them. I haven't bought any more brushes, um, but this mat I do absolutely love. I would buy this mat over again because it does save me a lot of time. So, yeah, and this is just, you know, how I clean my eye brushes. So, and they are clean. So, I'm going to clean the rest of my brushes and then I will be right back, you guys. So here is how I store my brushes when I'm done cleaning them. Um, I put all my face brush, my eye brushes on that side, and I put all my face brushes on this side. I just put towels down and elevate the brushes so the water can drain out of them. And see, I've cleaned my beauty blenders. Um, with normally with these kind of brushes, I just you know lay them flat down as flat as I can get them. I normally try not to buy those kind of brushes because they are double ended and it's just a hassle trying to keep water out of the barrel but nine times out of ten they come in palettes or with other brush sets that I do buy so this is how I store my brushes And I'm just going to let them sit here for the rest of the day and dry. And that's basically about how I clean my brushes. And for anybody that is interested, I will zoom in on the mat that I use. And it is the Sigma mat. It's very nice mat. And I'm sorry if you guys hear any noise outside. I have my window open. But this is the mat that I clean my brushes with. And I'll leave a link in the des description box below. Uh, to where you all can uh, you know buy this if you want to buy it I don't know if they have any in stock but it is a very good investment that I made and I'm very I'm so so happy that I got it so that is about it you guys so there it again there's how I store my brushes and I will leave everything in the description box that I use to clean my brushes with so until my next video guys I love you and bye